Hey everybody, good news. The replacement pipes have finally arrived from Red Sea. What does that mean? That means I will probably spend the next four to six hours doing incredible amounts of maintenance on this take. So sit back, relax, crack open a can of soda, and enjoy this time lapse. Twelve hours later, I can't believe it, but the work took me the entire day. Um, yeah, so basically what I did since I had to replace the pipes anyways is I decided to do an extreme maintenance. Basically what you see in those videos is me over the course of the entire day uh, doing everything that you can do from cleaning out all the pipes, I completely removed the sump, uh, scraped off any deposits from it, rinsed it out, I cleaned all of my tubes with a wire brush, um, I pulled off all the algae that's been growing on the rocks, not all of it, but a lot of the algae that's been growing on the rocks to make it look cleaner. I used tons of vinegar on all my pumps, uh, anything that, that might have some deposits on it. Um, had to do like a 25% water change, but I didn't have enough water, so I spent all day making RODI water and new salt water. Uh, trimmed the Red Sea fan and uh, added new salt, uh, sorry, not new salt, new sand. Uh, finally, I got 10 pounds of sugar fine sand, put that in as well. Uh, so yeah, basically the tank is awesome again, and I'm super happy, and to reward myself, I'm going to go to my local fish store today and pick out a new coral. I have no idea what it is, but it's going to be whatever catches my eye, and um, you know what's awesome about everything being cleaned is I was a little bit worried about my two clowns, especially Lucille, the big female, because she was not acting normally, but since... Uh, getting the tank up and running again, getting the filtration back, adding new carbon, GFO, a big water change. Uh, she seems right back to her usual self, so that makes me super happy. Uh, there was one fatality during this whole thing, which is frustrating um, for a lot of reasons, but my uh, rainbow bubble tip anemone died. Um, I am frustrated with that because as most of you probably know, corals and anemones don't have an have an aging mechanism, so they don't they don't have a lifespan. Meaning that, as far as we know, under good conditions, they can live forever, um, which is amazing. And I let mine die, and I feel really bad about that. Um, now, granted, I don't feel like it was completely my fault um, because of the pipes breaking, uh, taking over two weeks to get replacement parts. But I should have had a backup plan in place, um, and and I didn't. And so at the end of the day, that's my fault. Um, the replacement pipes did finally come. It took about two and a half weeks total. A lot of that was due to it breaking on a weekend and then emailing back and forth. There was always a one day delay from hearing from Red Sea, uh, the sh slow shipping, so on and so forth. So my biggest recommendation to everybody is have a backup plan in place uh, so you don't lose livestock. Um, not just because of the money. Honestly, I don't care about the money I spent on the bubble tip anemone. Um, I feel bad that that I let it die. Uh, I was hoping it would be there and grow and be there 
in my tank uh, for years to come, and it wasn't the case. So that's my bad. So if you do have a Red Sea tank, or any tank, have a backup plan. What happens if it breaks? Buy an extra pump. Come up with a way to keep your filtration systems going and your water circulating and everything that you need. And if you do have a Red Sea tank, I would recommend just getting some backup parts. Uh, that way you have them just in case because the Red Sea parts in the back are specially made for the tank. So it's not like you can easily go down to uh, your Ace Hardware, Home Depot, Lowe's and pick up those pieces. Uh, so maybe getting some backups of those is a really good idea. Um, yeah, so I don't have too much more to talk about today. Um, I still really do recommend the Red Sea. Customer service can be better. They were friendly via email. They could be much more prompt uh, and realize that when something breaks on the tank, that speed is really important in this hobby. And the fact that it took so long um, just makes me not think as highly of Red Sea as I once did. So I'm not trying to knock Red Sea, um, you know, I'm not saying don't go out and buy their product, but you know, not, I don't think as highly as I, as I used to. Um, anyway, you can see the tank is doing well. Finally, I'm super happy with where things are at. Thanks for stopping by guys. And I'm hoping when I go to the fish store today, might take a video for you all so you can see where I buy my livestock from. Have a great day, everybody.